Poison on the Rocks um, was also a personal one. Like I said, they usually start off as a personal experience. It was kind of like my metaphor for your life addiction or a bad habit that you have. You don't want to recognize it all of the time. In the beginning, I say, even though I know you're not real, I'm reluctant to just let you fade. So it's like you know you have a bad habit and you know it's there, but you just want to not recognize it or you don't want to totally recognize that it's bad and get it out of your life. I've experienced it with not only myself, but other people that there, it's just, there's so many things out there in life that can be toxic and they can be your type of poison. Sometimes it's something that's more recognizable or more obvious. Sometimes it's not, but a lot of the times it's something that just makes you rot. You just feel like you're rotting inside. What it was for me was the idea of overthinking. My habit was overthinking everything. So I would get to the point where I would just make everything in my life negative or bad or it had a bad effect. You may not feel it for the longest time, but that one thing that you don't acknowledge or you give too much power to is going to take over your mind and your body. You know it's there and you know you do it. Why can't you just relieve it? It eventually just takes over your body. So it's me acknowledging that in my process. Yes, it's a recipe for kill. You are literally writing your recipe for death right there. <laughs> Sounds really dramatic, but I think so.